This video is a product buyer's guide intended for gift givers and adult collectors. Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. And Sang. We'd like to thank MGA for sending us the Paris Hilton collector doll for free. Season three of Rainbow High's animated series has officially concluded, but a certain character based on a real life celebrity heiress is just now stepping into the spotlight. On March 22nd of this year, the official Rainbow High Instagram revealed that the brand would be collaborating with global entertainer, influencer, and heiress to the Hilton Hotel fortune, Paris Hilton. Millennials may remember her as the reality star socialite from The Simple Life in the early 2000s and her famous friendships with the likes of Nicole Richie, Britney Spears, and Lindsay Lohan, but since then her career has expanded to a variety of different industries. In addition to her perfume, fashion, and cookware lines, she's spent the past decade as an EDM DJ and appeared in pop star Kim Petras' first hit music video, I Don't Want It At All. In the world of Rainbow High, she was revealed to be the new headmistress of Pacific Coast High. Paris guest starred as herself in multiple episodes of the animated series where she joined Rainbow Vision's judge panel and even announced the competition's winning team in the season three finale. From the start, the Rainbow High fandom seemed mostly hyped at the possibility of a Paris Hilton doll release, with the reveal post receiving largely positive reception. Many users commented the collaboration was super iconic and a perfect fit for the brand. Some collectors, however, called into question whether the celebrity subject was an appropriate or child-friendly choice. Once the Paris doll was officially revealed to the public, fan response remained mostly positive, as she seemed pretty faithful to her animated series appearance, and many people seemed to agree the finished product looked beautiful. But a bit more drama stirred up regarding the release's price point, totaling even higher than Lily Chang's $80. All in all, there's quite a bit to discuss here, but don't worry, we'll cover all that and more in today's in-depth review of the Rainbow High Paris collector doll, including her real-life inspirations, of course. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss a moment of the adult collector perspective here on Toy Chat. All right, let's dive right in. The Paris Hilton collector doll is an online exclusive price at $99.99. This makes her the second most expensive Rainbow High doll, only behind Maria Garcia. You can order her via Amazon, Walmart, and Target's websites. Links to purchase will be in the description below. This holographic hot pink packaging is designed in a similar fashion to Rainbow High's previous collector doll, Lily Chang. The box is about the same size and shape as well. We can see Paris Hilton's name beneath artwork of her in her first outfit across the front display doors, decorated with a metallic gold Rainbow High plaque at the center. Printed graphics of edge bumpers decorate each corner of the box. Check out the little rhinestones on each one. The right side of the box is marked with a premium edition's gold sticker, while the left side is pure pink. Across the back, we see larger artwork of Paris holding her puppy while posing for a selfie in her signature look from the animated series. The top of the box has a plastic handle for carrying and a Rainbow High label tag attached with gold string. The front doors open up using Velcro at the plaque latch. And inside, we can see the doll in her window display. The interior has a rhinestone-like pink sparkle design, and the left door interior reads, Paris Hilton is an entrepreneur, global influencer, and Rainbow High style icon. She turns heads everywhere she goes and still and steps out without her pomegranate bestie, Mr. Amazing. A print of Paris's signature in metallic gold decorates the bottom of the display. And to the right, we can see her secondary fashion and accessory compartments. The right side door interior featured full body artwork of Paris holding her pet and bag, both included in the set. All right, time to officially meet Miss Hilton in doll form. I never guessed I'd be saying this just one year ago, but here we have Rainbow High's official Paris Hilton doll unboxed. A fun fact about Paris Hilton in real life is that despite being seen publicly with blue eyes for many years, those were in fact contacts and her natural eye color is a greenish hazel. Rainbow High cleverly combined notes of both in her doll release. Her irises include both light blue and green, and she wears a brown to pink eyeliner with a pearlescent highlight shimmer over each eye. 
Her lower lids are lined in light tan. We've seen a couple interesting variations of her lips. This Paris seems to be wearing a rosy pink gloss, but we've seen some dolls that look to have a much darker red lipstick. Eagle-eyed collectors may notice that she does indeed feature a brand new face sculpt, completely unique to this release. Here she is side by side with the Series 1 sculpt. The most noticeable difference to us is the slimmer nose, but the eyes seem like they could be slightly smaller too. What other differences can you guys spot? If I had to describe Paris Hilton's style in a word, it would be bedazzled. So it's fitting she wears a rhinestone studded tiara over her head. It's strapped into her hair with plastic ties and I suspect it'd fall off easily without them. Her signature bright blonde hair is tied up into a high ponytail and it's extremely long, trailing down past her knees. Although it had a lot of product, after a light spritz and brushing, it's extremely soft. Something we noticed is that although her promo images show wavier hair, the one we have here in addition to the ones we ordered from Walmart have pretty straight hair. Her first pair of earrings are large silver hoops encrusted in iridescent rhinestones. She also wears a matching choker around her neck with two separate rows of the same rhinestones. Moving on to her first outfit, Paris wears a shimmery hot pink chainmail slip dress. It has what looks like Versace inspired silver buckle straps over the shoulders. There's also a silver safety pin decorating the lower left slit, which once again resembles Versace's accessories. It all opens in the back with Velcro. Removing the dress, we can see that the chainmail is actually a separate overlay sewn onto a hot pink fabric underneath. This look seems to be inspired by a Versace mini dress that Paris wore during the Milan Fashion Week of this year. The rainbow high team must have worked fast. That look itself is also reminiscent of Paris Hilton's iconic 21st birthday chainmail dress by Julian McDonald. She rewore the same dress 15 years later at a DJ gig in Spain. It also includes a bedazzled choker, similar to the doll. Paris is also well known to wear fingerless gloves, so of course her doll comes with a pair. They're pastel pink mesh netting dotted with iridescent rhinestones. These are pretty delicate pieces, so be careful with them. Here we can also see her trio of bracelet accessories, which includes a large iridescent gem bracelet, a smaller gem bangle, and a sculpted chain with the letter P detailing. Her first pair of shoes are pink open toe stiletto heels with sculpted bows over the straps. There are sculpted bows over the back straps as well. And the soles are slightly translucent. Paris's second outfit is what would probably be considered her signature look in the Rainbow High animated series, a hot pink tailored blazer dress that is, of course, once again completely bedazzled in iridescent rhinestones. Intricate pearly white beading adorns the lapel, sleeves, hips, and faux pockets at each side. There's also silver embroidery detailing above and below the fashionable hip side openings. A great functionality feature of these slits is that they're positioned perfectly perfectly to slide in her stand clasp without straining the clothing. There are additional slit openings at each shoulder. The same decorative patterning continues across the back, and the blazer has two Velcro openings separated at the split, but this entire outfit is one piece. Removing it, we can see the additional sewn-on chest piece that lays beneath the lapel. Shout out to Claudina for sharing on Instagram that this look may have been inspired by an Alexander McQueen spring-summer 2023 look. There are matching thigh-high boots to pair with this blazer in the exact same hot pink color with rhinestones, beading, and embroidery. The boots are a stretchy, pleather-like fabric and have metallic silver soles. These rhinestones are the same style used on previous releases Tiara Song and Roxy Grand, and just like those pieces, these are glued on and unfortunately a bit prone to falling off. Be cautious how much strain or pressure you're putting on these fashions. In addition to her two complete outfits, Paris also comes with a variety of other unique accessories. First up is a secondary pair of earrings with iridescent rhinestone studs to match her outfits. These come in a tiny separate baggie in the packaging, so make sure you don't miss them. She also has a pearlescent pink makeup trunk with metallic silver edge bumpers and studded RH plaque latch. The flexible handle has an attached buckle tag, and if you open it up, it easily stores her small accessories inside. Her smartphone screen shows artwork of Paris posing for a selfie, and this interface looks like it's inspired by the iPhone. The other side also has an iPhone-inspired camera lens sculpting. The backing is a metallic pink. She also comes with a glittery phone case marked with a stylized letter P, and you can really fit her phone inside. This used to be a Bratz doll staple, but it's a first for Rainbow High. 
The case also comes with a handy thumb hook, which can be used to pose the doll holding her phone. Last but not least, Paris comes with adorable pet, another Rainbow High first. This little doggy is based on her real-life Michael Teacup Pomeranian, Mr. Amazing. The pet faker is flocked all in white, and as a nice bonus, he has articulated limbs. You can move all four of his legs and even his tail. In addition to her accessories, Paris comes with one standard clothing hanger. We haven't seen these in a while. There's a hair comb to match, and of course her display stand, which is the usual rainbow high sculpt in a color similar to Stella Monroe's. In case you're wondering whether Paris sports added articulation similar to some other collector dolls, she does indeed have ankle joints on both of her feet. They don't allow for a ton of extra movement, but can be twisted left to right and angled up and down. Unlike Jet Dawson, she does not include a bust joint. All right, so here are our final thoughts on Rainbow High's Paris Hilton doll. So I have to be honest, although The Simple Life is definitely a source of some silly nostalgia for me, and I must confess, I jammed to some of Paris Hilton's music in the early 2000s, I'm not really someone who's followed her super closely since that era. So for me, the appeal of this release came down mostly to how much the doll itself resonated with my collecting tastes. And in that regard alone, I think she's objectively really gorgeous and very very likely to satisfy Rainbow High fans who have enjoyed previous pink palette girls like Bella or Stella. Her makeup, new sculpt, and bedazzled accessories are amazing in person. She's really eye-catching. As for the quote child-friendliness of this collaboration choice, I personally think the subjects of idol worship and considering celebrities role models for children in pop culture are very delicate and nuanced conversations, which I don't think we can discuss in full in this video. As an adult collector, I don't have as strong of an opinion or stakes in that conversation as others might, but I will say, given the general nature of this release being an online exclusive marked as premium collector edition and sold at a higher price point, it definitely seems targeted more to older collectors, nostalgic millennials in particular. MGA seems keenly aware that they have both young and older people in their fan bases, and I can appreciate both being acknowledged in different ways. Celebrity collaborations will always be polarizing in some sense, because every celebrity has their fans, their haters, their controversies, etc. But we as consumers can always voice our opinion loudest with our dollar. Not to say I think that every celeb is a wise match for every brand, obviously, but with this Paris doll here, I think we have a point-blank beautiful product that offers pretty much everything that appeals to Rainbow High collectors, adults in particular. Dazzling luxe outfits, cute and functional accessories for display and photography, Photography and more. Also, Paris herself collects dolls, which I think is something that should be considered more often and adds more of a special connection to these types of collabs. I was similarly really happy for Trixie Mattel to get her own doll via Integrity Toys because I think it means something more to the public figure when they can actually relate to that passion for collecting. $100 is a hefty price tag to be sure, but I committed to buying her before I knew we were receiving her in PR and and I would not have regretted the purchase either way. There's more I could say on the pricing matter, but I'll leave that to saying since I think we'd agree here. One of the benefits of us filming together is that we can discuss at length about the products that we review. Max covered most of what I would have said about the Paris doll. So as Max mentioned, I'll be focusing more on the pricing and presentation of this product. Paris lives up to the sticker label on the box. She is a premium doll and her price reflects that. She comes with a few more accessory pieces than the current lineup of Rainbow High dolls, like a pet and phone. But it's up to you to decide if those items plus the celebrity endorsement is worth the increased price point. If you remove her outer display flaps, her packaging will look remarkably similar to the standard releases that we have been accustomed to. The fact that this doll is an online exclusive has some perks, like you don't have to worry about the wear and tear of being on the shelf at a retail store. And that she comes in, and I hope this is everyone's case, her own cardboard shipper box for extra protection. And as you know, Max and I, and most collectors do, we like to inspect our dolls before we buy them. We can't do that with online exclusives. So I would kindly ask these toy companies to guarantee that their online products have great quality control. We should expect a level of quality, especially at this price point. 
Honestly, it would save them the hassle with returns and exchanges. I would love to see more collaboration with celebrity doll collectors like this. The Paris Hilton doll is gorgeous as a standalone doll and as an homage to Paris Hilton herself. Thank you so much for joining us for this review. We hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let us know what you think of Rainbow High's Paris Hilton collector doll in the comments below. Now that we know for sure, a new series of Shadow High is coming very soon. There'll be a lot more to discuss in the coming weeks and new year. Happy holidays, everyone. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Let us know what you wanna see reviewed next and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.